Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome to Vlogoween Day 22. guys we are on week four of my Croctober series it's almost over so if you haven't watched any of the other videos I will link them up here and down below this week I'm gonna be making a pork tenderloin in the crock pot that is just to die for you're gonna love it and I'm collaborating with Taylor Elmore she shares what's for dinners every week she shares grocery hauls she's definitely a close YouTube friend of mine that I just love and she's so sweet and you will love her too so definitely go check out her video after you're done watching mine give her love and a comment like all the things and subscribe to her channel if you are not already you will not be disappointed now let's get into crock pot recipe four all right guys so for this recipe i'm going to be using the smithfield all natural pork tenderloin it does come with two pieces inside and it always comes out good no matter how i make it I'm also going to be using one medium onion, and I am going to chop up some bell peppers. I'm using about two tablespoons of tomato paste and a 28-ounce can of diced tomatoes. I'm probably going to throw two cloves of garlic in the sauce. And then for seasonings, I'm using crushed red pepper flakes, some garlic powder, some parsley, pepper, um, Italian seasonings, which just has rosemary, oregano, and basil in it. And then I'm going to be using two bay leaves that I'll throw in the sauce. All right, so I have my tenderloin in my crock pot, so I'm just going to season the meat first. So I don't ever measure my seasonings. I try to measure for you guys when I do recipe videos, but it's really just... I don't know to taste I, I just like eyeball it I guess I would say this is about two tablespoons of Italian seasoning probably about one tablespoon of black pepper one tablespoon of garlic two tablespoons of parsley flakes and my bay leaf and my red pepper flakes I'm gonna put in the actual sauce all right next I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of tomato paste and now I'm going to add my can of diced tomatoes and my red pepper flakes. And then I'm going to add two bay leaves. All right, now I'm just going to put this on high while I prep the veggies so I can get just get it started cooking. So I'm choosing to leave the garlic hole. My dad always left the garlic hole when he made his sauce and that's why I do it now. When I was a kid, it was always whoever found that the garlic was like the winner. We would all like search through the sauce, trying to find the garlic and I'd be a little kid eating whole like cloves of garlic like this, but they get super tender and flavorful when they cook in the sauce and they are just delicious. So I'm leaving it whole and my kids like to find the garlic too now. So I'm just gonna chop up my peppers. You can use green peppers, whatever. These are just what I have on hand. Um, I always get these every single week, these mini bell peppers, and they're so versatile, like I can eat them for snacks, or um, we can use them in recipes. So that's what I'm doing, and this is kind of like a chicken cacciatore recipe, um, but with pork, so it's just a little bit different. You could put some mushrooms in here, that would be really good. My family doesn't like mushrooms, I'm like the only one, so I'm going to leave them out. But I'm just going to chop up these peppers and onions and then we'll get them in the crock pot. So I've been getting like so many comments about how I cut my onions and honestly, I learned from watching the Food Network when I was like, I don't know, in high school. But I don't remember what show I was watching where I learned. I don't remember who the chef was. But basically, I just cut it in half. And then I cut it this way. And then I cut it this way. And then this way. So it's this way. And then a slice like this. And then you go like this and chop and they're like tiny little pieces um, but I want big chunks in my sauce today so I'm just gonna roughly chop it up because they're all gonna break down in the crock pot anyway all 
All right, so now I'm just gonna add all these veggies, onions, garlic, and peppers right to the crock pot. Make sure they're distributed. And there you go, I'm gonna cook this on high for four to six hours. I'm gonna check it around four hours. Um, you could probably do low for six to eight hours. So I need mine done quick because it's already two o'clock and I'm just starting this. So I'll see you in a couple hours. By using the pork, it just adds so much flavor and dimension to the sauce instead of just chicken. By adding the peppers and onions and garlic, and if you like mushrooms, if you added those, it just brings a whole new level of freshness to a crock pot recipe that is super hearty and comforting, but really delicious and healthy for you. So I like to serve this on top of some spaghetti, but you can totally eat it just by itself because it's that good. I also just sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. You can serve this with some garlic bread or some green beans on the side. That's what we usually have. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my fourth Crocktober recipe. I'll have the whole playlist linked down below. So make sure you go check out that and Taylor's Crock-Pot recipe that she is sharing this week because I know it's going to be good because everything she makes looks amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.